And that's what we want. <laughs> I got a preview of the seven day there. Uh, but here's the national picture. Uh, we got showers uh, to the north. Uh, the cold front that they, we're watching for this weekend is up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, and it is going to be working its way ever so slowly in the days ahead and won't get here until Saturday night. But when it does, that's when things really get interesting. But let's talk about the boring weather first, <laughs> just to give you an update on what to expect for today. Uh, it's going to be a breezy day and most of the day is probably going to be partly cloudy. Uh, but uh, by the late afternoon, I do think just about everyone will be seeing mostly sunny skies. It's going to be the mid 80s today, but mid 80s still with comfortable humidity. Still not a day that's going to be too humid, but breezier than yesterday and a little bit warmer than yesterday. It's still going to be mostly clear early this evening, but the clouds are going to try and come back late tonight and early tomorrow morning and the cloudiest period will be during the morning hours tomorrow. It'll be mostly to partly cloudy skies uh, across the valley, but just like today, I think the clouds will thin as the day goes on. Tomorrow is going to be breezy as well. Eventually, I think it'll become mostly sunny in the late afternoon, early evening tomorrow. It's still going to be in the mid 80s tomorrow, but tomorrow a little bit more humidity than today. Uh, so that's just a heads up there. But today, probably not quite as comfortable as yesterday, uh, but uh, still not bad. But tomorrow, a little bit less comfortable because that humidity will be coming back. So 84 with comfortable humidity today, partly cloudy, breezy. Though we'll probably have mostly sunny skies, especially later on this afternoon. Uh, gusts common around 25 miles per hour. We could even see some gusts closer to 30 out along the coast, more around 20 if you're out in Star County. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to start mostly clear, but it'll become mostly cloudy late tonight. Lows around 65, uh, just a little bit above normal for this time of year, and winds will stay around 10 miles per hour, but won't be as breezy as during the daytime hours. We have got to talk about the weekend because it is going to be a wild one. Now, I do want to make it clear that during the day Saturday, it looks right. We've seen some confusion on social media where people think Saturday, the whole weekend is going to be chilly. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's a 50-50 weekend. 86 for Saturday, and it's going to be dry during the day Saturday. The front doesn't arrive until Saturday night and probably late Saturday night. Even if you're going to be out in the early evening on Saturday, right now it looks like you're going to be dry, but the later you're out Saturday, the better chance you have at seeing rain. And Sunday is going to be the wet day. It's going to be the chilly day. It's going to be the windy day. It's going to be the cloudy day. And it's going to start in the upper 50s, but in the late afternoon Sunday, it could very easily be in the low 50s. It's going to be the 50s all day long on Sunday. That is your indoor day. Your outdoor day is Saturday. Do the outdoor stuff then. Uh, looking at rain uh, today through Monday, again, most of our rain coming Sunday and Monday, uh, you'll notice we're in that shade of blue, but not the shade of purple. It's in this shade of purple farther north where there's a chance of flooding. We are not concerned about flooding with that system that's coming in on Sunday. Most of the rain that you're seeing here is going to fall during the day on Sunday. And I do think we could be looking at rainfall amounts from about a half an inch to perhaps close to an inch and a quarter. And I think that's gonna be pretty widespread across the valley. Just about everybody getting in on some good rain that'll help put a dent on the drought. Now there's still gonna be a chance of rain uh, starting Saturday night and then Sunday night and Monday, but the wettest period is definitely during the day on Sunday. Now again, it's gonna be quiet the next three days in the mid 80s, but everything changes on Sunday. But look how we warm back up. The rain chances are still gonna be around Tuesday and Wednesday, but more are gonna stay dry than see rain. And guess what? After the 50s on Sunday, it's right back to the mid 80s by next Wednesday. One more news coming up in just a bit.